I'm having a great time out here in Madagascar. How you feel, Crane? Interview time. How's the Filipina feel in her cousin's place of Africa, of Madagascar? Many people may not understand the smell. You gotta come here to smell it, guys. Shut up. I feel like that I do. You feel like you belong? Of course you belong. Now it's time to go to Haiti. See, that's why I love coming to these nature treks. You see all different ways. Oh, snap. You know, I definitely encourage you guys to come visit. You use it in fix. where you can rub it on your chest and smell the menthol, I guess. In Ethiopia, they call this a baharuzaf. So I pretty much paid $1,475 per person um, for an 11 day tour. Capital One Visa, it worked perfectly fine. I recommend that because with Capital One Visa, you can get 1.5% cash back on all purchases. I see something in the background moving. Let me get the heck out of here. Oh man, these Nike Air Jordan 37s are getting jacked up. Hope it's not a lemur coming to bite my head off. Let's go. Yeah, watch out for the leeches. Alonzi. Now look at this. This here is the wild coffee plant here in Madagascar. You see that? It's wild. If you want some good coffee, you can come to Madagascar. I don't even think they export their coffee that much. But I guess one of the only ways you can get it is coming here if you can't find it in your hometown. Wild coffee plant. Nice. Oh wow, coming further ahead. Now we see the wild coffee plant when it's ripe. And this wild coffee right here, the fruit, is usually for the lemurs. So the lemurs will come down and start chewing on it. Just like that. That probably gives them energy. This is how it looks when it's ripe. Very cool, right? Wow, and you see this bamboo right here. These bamboos grow about six. 10 centimeters per day but in order for it to grow it needs a good amount of sunlight so there is sunlight that comes through every now and then but it definitely grows daily bamboo is serious it's real that's why it grows so tall look at that bamboo bamboo right here bamboo is serious continuously continuously growing There they go. I'm lost. Oh, I see them. That's a gray bamboo lima right over there. It's very small. See, it's looking at us. It. There's another one that jumped. It stopped jumping again. Yes. Yeah. Super cool. There's our spotter right here. You can, you can stand down there. Let's don't slip. It's spotter. It's eating. Bamboo. Huh? Crikey. Huh? Bamboo right up there. I'm not sure if you can see it right past my hat. You see that? Right there. Is that a great bamboo lemur? Nice. She's not. <laughs> she is so surprised that. Oh, I, I talked with her. I don't know that she doesn't understand the movie. <laughs> oh, green. Malagasy. So the story here is that um, <laughs> people are speaking to us and saying salam, salam, and speaking to us in the Malagasy language because they think Kring is Malagasy. Um, she's from the Philippines, but as you know, there's the Indonesia-Malaysian connection. And they thought, me of course, with my skin tone, that I could be Malagasy, but I'm not. But it's pretty cool that they think that we are. Salam, salam, sara, sara. Yes. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oui. <laughs> Don't slip. It's a serious one right there. Attention. Attention. Uh -huh. So she got on hiking boots, but that doesn't mean you won't slip. Yeah, even. <laughs> exactly. Because you have to be careful because the roots are really sleepy. Yes. But this is interesting. I've never seen a plant or tree like this. Look at this. It's like acorns growing out of it. And it's thorny. The leaves are super thorny. If you touch them, you're going to get like super scratched up. Yeah. You know the name? I don't know. You know the name? Pandanus. Pandanus? Pandan. Pandan. That's fruit? 
Yeah, the goat. Uh, limo eat it. Oh, really? Yes. The, the red, mm -hmm. red bellied limo eating that uh, fruit. Really? And the uh, leaves is used to make uh, how do you say, hats and baskets. You can weave it. Ah, but they're so spiny, like yeah, so thorny. Spiny. Wow. Pandani. Pandani. Pandanus. Pandanus. Pandanus? Pandan. <laughs> Alright, so right there. Crikey, right up ahead. The smallest bamboo lemur. The smallest bamboo lemur. Is, is this gray? Yes, yes, the it's the gray one. The gray bamboo lemur. Don't be afraid. And look at this right here. These are all orchids. You see it's growing off the side of the tree. Just like that. Orchids, baby. See, that's why I love coming to these nature treks. You see all different ways. Oh, snap. You see all the different ways the flora grows. It's very interesting, man. I'm having a great time out here in Madagascar. Um, you know, I definitely encourage you guys to come visit. This is safaribookings.com, and I'm using the Madagascar, Madagascar Travels. Um, so I pretty much paid $1,475 per person. Um, for an 11 day tour, um, lodging is all included and breakfast meals are all included as well. And, um, but you have to pay for your lunch and dinner on your own if you want to go into town or whatever. Or usually they stop midway through half the day so you can eat lunch at some restaurant. It's not that expensive for the first day. Kareem and I paid like $11 total for lunch total I mean big fish meals meat meals second day we paid like $12 total for two people so it's a little bit more expensive for the average person that's living here but it's very cheap for someone coming from I guess the USA uh, so but if you want to have cheaper meals then you can just easily go on the street and get some meals but if you do that your stomach better be and good service because you might have what happened to me in the Philippines back in the day happened to you where you poo poo randomly in random spots so you don't want that to happen to you so coffee, I'm sorry this, this is coffee too. oh that's coffee yeah. wonderful look at that super cool so back to that safaribookings.com is where you start and then there's different tour travel groups within safaribookings.com and I paid through credit card I didn't have to pay with um, the Adi Adi cash, but when they bring the credit card machine to you, my particular travel agency, they brought it to me because I was already in the country, um, they uh, charged it from there. Uh, just watch out for the conversion. My uh, tour travel converted it just a little bit higher, like uh, which favored the Malagasy Adi Adi. So I should have told her to make the conversion better, but it's okay because I pretty much paid like an extra. I guess two or four dollars because of her average conversion of the Adi Adi at the time, which was uh, four thousand three hundred and eighty-two, but she made it like four thousand four hundred, like that. So whatever. But in the end, um, it worked out. And I'm sure there's ways for them. And I'm sure there's ways for you to pay credit card electronically from wherever you are. But I did it with the machine that she brought to me that had a sim card attached to it and it charged perfectly fine $1,475 per person once again all right so I definitely recommend them uh, they'll set you off straight and the reason why I say I recommend them is because they created this entire booking in less than one day because I was like, what is there to do other than staying in Antonarivo? Because I was like, I want to go to the other parts of the country. But then I found out with the national parks, you are unable to go alone. So you need some type of tour guide. And so being that we were already here, our tour company leader came straight to me at the Hotel Brajas in the capital. And she allowed me to pay um, while I was already in the country. So that was perfectly fine. I have an international credit card, which is Capital One Visa. It worked perfectly fine. 
I recommend that because with Capital One Visa, you can get 1.5% cash back on all purchases. This is not an advertisement for Capital One, but hey, I like to help people with information. So that's how I do it. So I get no international fees at all with that Capital One Visa from the USA. So that's what I use all the time when I'm traveling. Man, I'm getting rained on like crazy. So definitely if you're going on one of these tours, these hikes, these treks, these safaris as I am right now, I would definitely suggest you to wear hiking shoes uh, and get a raincoat because in these rainforests it constantly, constantly rains. So I'm still getting wet, but see I have like a dry fit type shirt. So it's fast drying and it keeps you a little bit warm with an umbrella. So, more coffee? Oh, there it goes right there, the blue. Look at that. I've never seen coffee like this. But you see, this is why you gotta travel so you can learn things like this. Yan. All right, so that's that. Oh yeah, and don't slip. Woo. Don't slip, because I've slipped so many times. This is the slipperiest part right here. If you even put your foot right there on the, on the green, you're done, you're done for, you're done -zo. So keep off the green, guys, keep off the green. Oh man, these Nike Air Jordan 37s are getting jacked up. Go down sideways like this, you see? Go down sideways to get a little bit more traction. The thing is, these have a medial arch. So because it has a medial arch in the Jordans, I'm able to have a little bit more traction like this instead of slipping all the way down. If it's flat, you most likely will slip and bust your butt. So I helped Kring out many times because her Walmart special shoes don't have a medial arch. Oh yeah. Top of the line Jordans, baby. Top of the line. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Good. Oh my goodness. I'm, too this. I'm getting too old for this stuff. <laughs> it's slippery. It's slippery. Yeah. No, I will not fall. I <laughs> promised myself since seventh grade that I will never slip ever again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's fine. So here guys, we have a eucalyptus tree. As you can see when you press into it, super spongy, look at that. Eucalyptus is used for many medicinal purposes. You use it in Vicks, where you can rub it on your chest and smell the menthol, I guess, and then it makes you breathe better. In Ethiopia, they call this a uh, baharzaf. And so that's what they use for the same reasons, or I'm not sure, some people use it as a tea. But, yeah, watch out for the leeches. So, Overall, this is how a eucalyptus tree looks like. Looks like a spongy redwood tree. Super big, super tall. My goodness. That's why it costs so much to go get that stuff, because you gotta go all the way up there. You're already interrupting my monologue with your leeches. <laughs> all right, so once again, this is Madagascar, guys. Park Nacional, Rano Mafana. And for those who don't know what Rano Mafana means, it means hot water. Oh, look at this. We've come across white ginger plants. Many people may not understand the smell. You gotta come here to smell it, guys. Shut up. Oh, smells so good. It's like this is a smell that you could put into your home and just like burn and make that thing just smell. It smells so good. White ginger. I see something in the background moving. Let me get the heck out of here. Hope it's not a lemur coming to bite my head off. Let's go. Alonzi. Go up ahead, go up ahead. I gotta protect you from behind. Yeah. Protect me from the leeches. Grab it now. Grab it now. Grab it now. Now, let's go ahead and have a mirador. This is a stopping point here. You can see the view. Currently, at this time, it's super misty. So, there's really not much to see beyond this point. That's where we're from, down there. We came from down there? Yeah. Oh. You can see the house and the, the cars. And oh, the, that's far. It's, it's far. That's far. It's where yeah. we're coming from. So we will make a loop down there. Oh. On the other side. Okay. Yeah, we pretty much walked up more than two miles. But it's, it's hard to see really anything with that mist. But that's a rainforest for you guys. How you feel, Crane? Interview time. How's a Filipina feel huh? and her cousins? place of Africa, of Madagascar. It's okay. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. I feel like that I belong. You feel like you belong? Of course mm -hmm. you belong. Now it's time to go to Haiti. Okay. Oh, why you made that face? You get kidnapped. <laughs> no, it's not. You know, you kidnapped you and me. <laughs> I'm gonna get kidnapped too. <laughs> Yeah, there was a couple in Haiti that had to pay, what, over like $20,000 just to get their release. Man, Haiti's wild, bro. But we need to go, though. We need to go. Hmm. You just got to wait. Future. In the future, got to wait. Let's take a picture. Let's take a photo. Okay, look at these shoes. Jack. <laughs> Me, too. Jack. It won't be used anymore. I'm going to throw this away. Seriously? Nah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'll wash it. Yan. I hate washing shoes. Really? Hmm. Yeah, I haven't yeah. washed these in a while. Are you gonna wash it here or get it? Washed? Uh, no, it won't dry if you wash it here. We have a blow dryer. I don't want. I don't want to wash it. So, well, we can wipe off the top yeah, marks. I'll just so. wipe it. Wonderful, wonderful. I <laughs> see, but it's okay. Kadiri. So, ending this part of the tour, just know that a lot of the areas are not paved some are paved so it's like paved and unpaved paved and unpaved as you see right here you have unpaved then to paved then to wood plank then to unpaved you need to be prepared for things like this if you're not up to a challenge to hike and do a rainforest safari like this stay home or just stay within the city but if you are come to Madagascar you'll have just as much fun as I am oh yeah so this is how it looks guys. Um, we're going down a mountain and we're looping to the other side that we did not touch when we came up. So it's tough. But you can do it. I almost slipped earlier, but it's okay. I always catch myself. So we hear like little whistling, like if you hear that whistle, it's a couple. It's most likely a frog. See? You heard that you heard that whistle? That's not a person. It's most likely a frog. You'll hear it in the background. All right, so that does it for this portion of the tour. If I see something else, I'll show you. But until then, I gotta watch my step. Oh my goodness, it's raining like crazy. You hear that rainforest water? You hear that? It's the river. You okay, Kareem? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This is like this, and you have to use the plant. Oh. oh. This, they can be used for top legging. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. So he was mentioning that you could use a plant to help with coagulation. So if you need to stop the bleeding of certain scratches, bites, mites, whatever, use that plant that I showed you earlier before. It's pretty cool. Sorry for the fogginess, but that's what happens in the rainforest, guys. Super beautiful! Woo! <laughs> Bonus. Never seen a circular mango before, but that bad boy look good! Oh my goodness! Look at that! This is when you don't have a knife available. You just gotta pick at it, pick at it. Look how good that mango looks. Oh wow, it looks ripe, looks ready to go. What do you guys know about Malagasy? Malagasy, yeah. Okay. Come on, Cree. The suspension is definitely is killing us. The suspension is killing us. Go ahead and eat it, bro. Go ahead and eat it. Let the people know how it tastes. Mukbang! This is the best bonus in the world. Bonus. Yeah. Ooh, that thing looks sarab, ma sarab. Sarab. Ooh, that juice, boy. This is a Malagas mango. All right, guys. This is the bonus for you. That's a good mango right there, boy. Ayan. How you like it? Mm. What does that mean? Good. Oh, yeah. Top of the line mangoes here in Madagascar. Indian mango. That's not Indian. We call it Indian mango in the Philippines. Circular mangoes? Mm -hmm. Mango, Indian mango. It's the same taste I'm going to taste in Madagascar. Let's 
مساترة أنا هون مساترة خلي أنا